Hello and welcome to Tinglewinger 5. Today I want to show you the easiest way to mine Bitcoin. But first, answer my question, should you? Well if you plan on mining with a CPU, no you shouldn't do that. Nvidia GPUs, not really. But if you've got an AMD GPU, then yeah, you can probably do it, you get a decent hash rate. But the idea is you get more than your money's worth. So first things first, and if you watch my video, you've got yourself a Bitcoin wallet and you've now signed yourself up to a Bitcoin pool. This is the pool I'm going to be using. This is Slush's pool, it's been around forever. And this is the wallet I use, it's called Armory. First thing you want to do, go to Google and just type GUI Miner, G-U-I-M-I-N-E-R. Download the latest version, really easy. Now you want to extract that to a folder and you're pretty much done. Once you bring up your Bitcoin folder, you then have the GUI Miner EXE right in the middle there. We're going to open that up and go into it. Now I've preset mine up just because this is an earlier version and you have here various pools to sign up to. So I use Slush's pool which is towards the top but most Bitcoin pools are actually already preloaded so you don't have to enter all the information to connect to your Bitcoin pool. And there's even an other option if you have a stranger pool. Now you can add flags to it, I can't remember what dash V does, but dash F changes how it runs. So if you notice you're getting slow down, you can increase that number to whatever you want. And then just press start mining, that's all you're doing. So I'm mining currently on my Nvidia GTX 680, and I'm getting about 100 mega hash. It gets usually to about 110 when I'm not recording off it, but that's not really good. I'm not getting my money's worth, I'm paying more for electricity, then I'm getting back with Bitcoin. And you can view all errors in the console here. And that's all it is to it. If you've got an AMD GPU, you select your device and away you go. In the next video, I want to show you a different miner and how to set up your Bitcoin ASIC. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.